Who are you? I'm the ghost of Christmas party. And I'm here to get you lit and drinking nerdy. What's up my nerds? Welcome back to Drinking Nerdy. This is Jane from Gus, and today we're talking about Christmas movies. I love Christmas movies. So do I. But before we get started, drinks? Yeah. I'm drinks? Thirsty. Easy on the Pepsi. Oh <laughs> get a plate. <laughs> On purpose. He knows I ate sausage and olives and Look what you and... did, you little jerk. Look what you did, you little jerk. What's up, my wet bandits? Today, we're going to make a Home Alone cocktail. I base this cocktail on uh, the scene where Kevin doesn't get his cheese pizza and his cousin drinks the Pepsi, and then everyone calls him a jerk. Let's get started. Start with some ice. We're going to start with one ounce of vanilla vodka. We're using Stolishnaya. To give it a little 90s vibe, we're gonna give, make it a little cherry flavored. We're gonna be using cherry here for this. It's like a sweet little syrupy cherry liqueur, one ounce. Look what you jerks did. We're gonna top it off with some Pepsi Cola. Crawlsies. Make sure you put a little bit of uh, cherries in there. I'm using Luxardo cherries for the garnish. And there you have it, a home alone cocktail, you little jerks. Cheers, you filthy animals. You know what? I think I have something. <gasps> yes. You like sugar, huh? Is there sugar in syrup? Yes. Then yes. We elves try to stick to the four main food groups. Candy, candy canes, candy corns, and syrup. So one of my favorite Christmas movies is Elf. So we're gonna make a cocktail using one of Buddy's number one food groups, maple syrup. Some ice. Start off with two ounces of any bourbon. We're using Bowman's. This is the nice Bowman's. Then you wanna do two ounces of an orange liqueur. We're using Mandarin Napoleon, but you can use Grand Marnier. And of course, the most important ingredient, maple syrup, half an ounce. And top off with cranberry juice. And garnish with a little orange. Cheers to my friend Santa. Jane, cheers. cheers. Merry Christmas. You filthy animals. That's such a good line. Mm. Well, so what, what are you drinking here? All right, so I made a bourbon, maple, cranberry, orange cocktail. Okay. Inspired by Buddy the Elf's favorite food group, maple syrup. Maple syrup and spaghetti. Oh, Is yeah. it spaghetti and maple syrup or what was it? Like... He, puts, he pours a bunch of maple syrup <laughs> on spaghetti. One of his top food groups, maple syrup. Yeah, so like I went with... Um, Home Alone, like a Home Alone cocktail from like the scene where they're like, Kevin, they eat his pizza and he just like loses his crap and just gets in a fight and then his uncle goes like, look what you did you little jerk. So that's what I did. I went with the 90s vibe to it. Pepsi, cherry vanilla, so it's like a cherry vanilla Pepsi. Nice. Super reminiscent of the 90s. Perfect for drinking by the fire. I haven't had Pepsi in a long time. Me there. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a big fan, but I'm a big fan of this. So, then it looks out the cherries. It's like adult gushers. Growing up in the nineties was the best. Do they still make gushers? Oh yeah. Hmm. We gotta Remember. get some. Yeah. So, Jane, what are some of your favorite movies? Ooh. Christmas movies. Christmas movies. You know, I feel like number one, my favorite of all time. 
The Santa Claus. The Santa Claus? With Tim Allen. Oh, man, I just, I'm not a big fan of Tim Allen. Why? He's just not, I don't think he's that funny. I think he's just like, all his comedy is like, er, er, that, I don't think that's funny. <laughs> I love Tom Improvement, so I don't know. I have like a love of Tim Allen. And I just think that movie is like lighthearted, fun. There's a good message, but it's mostly just silliness. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm a super fan of like, obviously Home Alone. Like, I think Home Alone inspired so many kids to become booby trappers. Like, yeah, like serial <laughs> murderers just for fun. <laughs> there's like, there's like a, there's a, um, a fan theory that um, Macaulay Culkin grows up to be the guy from Saw. Ooh. Because like he, he got used to trapping humans and he like he he Love got a taste it. of blood and he's just like he was like you know what I'm gonna take you to the next level. Do you but, wanna play a game? <laughs> but and then Maca Macaulay Culkin and on his Twitter he posted like I think like I discourage a generation of criminals from breaking into people's houses during Christmas uh, because just all the traps and stuff with it definitely when. When my parents used to go to work and my sister and I were home alone, yeah, I, we would booby trap the door. Like we would have like we would we would p position blow dart guns to the to the door. Like a little, like that's how a kid thinks, right? You're just like, <laughs> this will keep me safe. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I do I do have a problem with some Christmas movies though. I what what Christmas movie do you have a problem with? Specifically, The Grinch. You know what, The Grinch. Why? Because. It's a sad movie. Everyone thinks the, the, the Grinch is a jerk. They make like an awful song about him too. He's not a jerk. He was just different. He was just different. He was green when everyone was beautiful and hairless. And just because he was a weird looking dude, they like cast him off to live in the freaking dump of their snowflake planet, whatever that is. Who, Bill? Okay, I would be a jerk too if... Every day, the entire freaking planet would sing a song about how much of a jerk I am. Is that why you're a jerk? Because I sing a song about it every day? <laughs> it's witchcraft. I'm telling you, she's, she's conjuring <laughs> me to be a jerk. <laughs> but, okay, so just imagine, you're the only green person in the entire planet in your existence. And then everyone in town just gathers around to sing about how P.O.S. you are. And <laughs> I will be a piece of shit too. <laughs> like, yes, I will ruin your Christmas whovilles with your weird haircuts and piglet noses. Ah. I do like the meme that's like, the Grinch doesn't hate Christmas, he just hates people. And as an adult, I get that. <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel for you, Grinch. So here is the number one debate. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? That's what everyone wants to know. I don't know, because I have never seen Die Hard. You've never seen Die Hard? No, it's just... You're a dude. That's like you're the number one I'm, movie for dudes. I'm more like a Lord of the Rings kind of dude. Like a Star Wars Christmas spectacular oh, kind of a I dude. That. I do. I, I like. I had like a vague memory of someone getting killed by like a jet missile or something, or like a like a fighter jet. Or, is that they are? Yeah, I mean he kills someone. He also hits a like helicopter, helicopter yeah. with his car, but that's mm. not the first one. I don't remember. I don't know. I, people swear it's a Christmas movie, but I think in the same token, it's kind of like the Nightmare Before Christmas. Is it a Halloween movie? Is it a Christmas movie? Why can't we have both? There are a lot of movies that are just like, they're Christmas movies because they somehow take place during Christmas, but they're not yeah, yeah. actually about Christmas and the Christmas spirit and whatnot. I'm so upset about The Grinch, to be honest with you. It just ruined my day. <laughs> you know what Christmas movies I loved when I was a kid? Are all the claymation ones like um, the like Rudolph one? Oh and the yeah, one that's yeah. Like Heat Miser <laughs> and uh, Snow Miser. I, those are my favorite. I I don't like those kind of movies because it always scared me. Like it's super creepy. Claymations <laughs> are super creepy to me. And just looking at them, it's You're scared of claymation. Did you? It's like unnatural. It's like an unnatural movement, and they're like walking around like cute, like like demons that have possessed clay, and they're trying to be like, oh yeah, we are the Christmas spirit. Give us your soul. Well, now I know how to scare Gus. Claymation. <laughs> okay, I'm not saying I'm scared of claymation now, but when I was a kid, it was like bizarre because it's like they tried to recreate the movement, but it's like humanoid. It's not, it resembles humans. It's not like, so it's like awkward. Like, you remember Gumby? Yeah. It's like I love super, Gumby. super bizarre, man. 
Super bizarre. Oh, you my no favorite, but. appreciation for the classics. The classics. You wanna talk about classic? Mm hmm. Christmas story. Okay. I'm a huge fan. You know how much of a fan I am? Well, I'm a fan thanks to my family, but this is how much of a fan I am. Red Rider, baby. I'm ready to poke my own eye out. Bam! Out. Yes, I will shoot all things that are for Gile. For Gile. It's Italian. <laughs> the, leg, the leg lamp has like lived on as like one of the number one like moments from a Christmas movie. What do you mean? Like the leg lamp that they have. Like oh that's yeah. Like such a yeah, it's specific some, cultural reference. Yeah, and it's so emblematic that if you go around my neighborhood, you will see at least one leg lamp on the windows, like on a bay window. It's like a thing. That's fantastic. Yeah. If you could be in any Christmas movie, what Christmas movie would you want to be in? Oh, that's a deep thought. I would be in The Passion of the Christ. It's technically a Christmas movie. What? It's a, it's a story about Jesus after his birth. Want to hang out with Jesus and watch him <laughs> on a cross? <laughs> no. No. I know. What? Home Alone. No, I don't want to go Home Alone. I'll probably shit myself if my parents left me and they went to France and I was like seven. <laughs> Guess I'd just be crying in a corner. The whole house would be stolen. You'd just be crying in a closet somewhere. <laughs> if I was to be in a in a Christmas movie, I would be in a Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay. Because you have the option to travel through dimensions, right? Like you can travel through different towns, like Halloween Town, Thanksgiving Town, St. Patrick's Town. What's up, St. Patrick? I see you with thousands of kegs of beer. Well, how about you, Jane? What, what Christmas movie would you be in? Ooh, definitive answer. Krampus. Muppet <laughs> Christmas Carol, just so I can hang out with the Muppets. Oh, I've never seen it. You've never seen Muppet Christmas Carol, Gus? Dude, I've seen like the we classics. We own it, I'll just bring it to you. Please, it's yeah. It's very important I love the Muppets. Am I a man? I love that there are so many different versions of the Christmas Carol out there. What Christmas Carol? Like the Christmas Carol. Like Ghosts of Christmas Past. Like Charles Dickens. Oh, okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Charles My Dickens. My favorite though, besides, because it's not the exact Christmas Carol, is Scrooge, because I love Bill Murray. Oh, with Bill Murray? Mm -hmm. I if I was Scrooge, I would be Duck my Scrooge, so I could jump in my pool of gold coins. But I, there was like a there was a there was a Family Guy skit where the where Peter lives the Duck my Scrooge fantasy, yeah. and he jumps into a pool of gold coins and he breaks his neck. And he's like, "Oh my God! Why did they make it like liquid? It's not liquid at all. It's a solid. It's like solid gold coins." That hurts. <laughs> it's not realistic. Dude, and you know what? I don't know if you ever held like something that's pure gold, like a good amount of gold. It's heavy. It's super, he gold is super heavy. One of the, the guys I work with, he's a sommelier and he, his wine opener is solid gold. It was okay. the heaviest thing I've ever held. It's so dense. But anyway, so my nerds, why don't you guys tell us what your favorite Christmas movies and drinks are. Make sure to smash the like button and subscribe. <laughs> Tell your family about us, or I will invade your home, home alone style. Make Take sure. all your gifts. Like the wet bandits, run all the water, ruin your house. Sure. Make did I do it? Did I ever do it? Sorry. A little bit. <laughs> Make sure you ask Santa for more videos from Drinking Nerdy. Gus has had too much Pepsi. He's all wound up now. <laughs> I'm all checked up on Mountain Dew. <laughs> Well, join us next time for some more holiday fun. We're getting pretty close to New Year's. So. Yeah. So, think about the Grinch. I just finished the video there. <laughs> <laughs> and cut.